video, so I'll see you right back. I am just turning red panda bear. What up? Don't look out the window. I really hope that was cool. I don't know. But anyways, welcome back to another Demon Pops episode. Another episode of Demon Pops. My dog is begging to come in. Do you guys like my Space Jam shirt? Very nice. I did a review on Space Jam A New Legacy. You guys can check that out. And the review of the Space Jam A New Legacy. McFlay. So, let's get right on into the video on Funko News. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and this is Demon Pops here with some of Funko News for you. Alright, so, huge out to Top Pops who told me this. There are a new 10 in red Funko Pops that you guys can pre edit right now on sites like GameStop, Amazon, Pop in a Box, Toys R Us. No, Toys R Us doesn't do pre edits. But you're still going to be able to get them at Toys R Us once they come out. So anyways, let's just get on with the video. Anyways, so Top Pops told me that they're a Tiny Red Funk Pops subject release blank. And the reason why I said blank, he didn't actually say blank in the message. He just, I just said blank because it's going to be a surprise when they're going to. Okay, let's just get on. I don't know why I'm rambling. Also, I got a new haircut. You guys like it? You guys like it? You guys like it? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. Anyways, basically, here's when they're coming out, and let's try to anticipate it as much as we can. Alright, so we're gonna actually hype this up. You guys might be a little bit moved back, so I can drum roll. Anyways, let's get on. So, we're gonna set it by from the first stair that gets it to the last stair that gets it. See, yes, the last. And these are super fair back, at least from what I've read on the Funko website and on websites like Amazon, GameStop, Toys R Us, and other websites like that. And for you guys in the U.S. that are probably watching this video, since most of my audience is in the U.S., you guys don't have Toys R Us. I'm going to lose a lot of U.S. viewers if I said that, and that would probably get canceled. But I was going to say that it's a PA because you have Toys R Us, but I don't want to offend you. But for those of you guys that want to get Funko Pops at Toys R Us in the U.S., you guys can either come, you have a couple options, come here to Canada, or buy them online. Because Toys R Us is now an online stay in uh, the U.S., and I heard that they're opening up some Toys R Us in the Macy's Mall in the U.S., so that's pretty cool for you U.S. viewers out there. If you guys didn't know that, basically Toys R Us is coming back in the U.S. soon, so hopefully all those Funko Pop Hunters in the U.S. can finally find what they're looking for at Toys R Us, like maybe the Jeffrey Funko Pops and maybe like the Jeffrey as Robin Funko Pops, because those Funko Pops are pretty cool since they can in exclusives right now, and for you guys in the U.S., I mean, they can in in Sweden exclusives, I guess you would say. And for you guys in the U.S., you guys can't get them. And unfortunately, we're experiencing that too, since we can't get Target Funko Pops here, because there's no Target in Canada. So, that sucks. Target is like that building stay in Canada now. I don't know why. But let's just talk about this. So, here we go. The first day... So, say that's getting them first is, drum roll please, GameStop, which I was about to say next. GameStop on April 11th, and the reason why they're getting them April 11th, it's a month after the movie releases, that's usually when they release them. And if you guys don't know what heading that is, let me explain it to you at, right after this. So, the next one that's getting it is drumma please the one and only pop in a box pop in a box is getting it april 11th all right and the next day drum roll please i guess toys of us april 11th most of them are getting it april 11th so i don't even know why i'm anticipating this when basically 99.9 percent .9 of them are getting april 11th 
Funko Stay, 8th, 11th, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Now let's move on to Amazon, because this is where stuff gets really far back, and all of them are coming out April 11th, except on this website, Amazon. So get ready, Amazon is going to be releasing the 10 Red Funko Pops on December 10th. So don't add it from Amazon, right? Th that's just a fact. Anyways, let's get right on into it. Alright, so if you guys don't know what Tending Red is, it's this movie. It's the second, it's it's the last Pixar movie. It's not the last Pixar movie. Get my smile to talk to you. It's the Pixar movie to come out. It's the Disney Pixar movie to come out after Luca. It's the last Disney Pixar movie to come out after Luca. And the first Disney movie to come out after Encanto. I was waiting to do that. Let's put this back now. Antonio, you are really blocking the way. Maybe I should have grabbed Antonio because he's literally right in the middle of it. And he would have been easier to put back than the other. Though. But, yeah. Anyways, so. What are the most reliable sources to get these? Well, I would probably say the best sources and the best chances you have, I believe, at getting the Tending Red Funko Pops is if you live in Canada, probably Toys of Us and maybe GameStop. As people in the UK, I don't know. People in the UK, uh, I think, like, other places. Some, some places called EB Games. What does EB even stand for? Eat ballet games? Like, eat ballet games? Are you supposed to eat ballet games? GameStop makes my sense. I know I might offend some EB Games fans there, but seriously, EB Games and GameStop are the same company. So I don't know why I'm ranting about EB Games when I'm really ranting about GameStop. Okay, let's just get on with the video now. Alright. So, your best bet. If you're in Canada, it's Toys R Us. And then your best bet if you're in the U.S. is going to be Hot Topic. Uh, it's going to be between Hot Topic and uh, Drumroll, please. Uh, you guys you know it's going to be GameStop. So your best bets in the U.S. are between Hot Topic and GameStop. And your best bet in Canada is going to be Toys R Us. And Toys R Us always gets the newest Funko Pops first. Anyways. Yeah. Now let's talk about some other Funko news. All right, Funko news for you. Pop in a box is officially now fixing the boxes. So basically, if you guys don't know what pop in a box is, it's this Funko Pop say you can use to buy Funko Pops if you're here in Canada. Since we don't have access to the actual Funko website here in Canada, we can't actually buy Funko Pops from there and they won't ship to us if we do. And Etsy's just way too big of a risk. Same with Amazon since most of the boxes come, well, basically broken. If you're an inbox collector, that is, which I'm outbox, so I wouldn't really mind about that, but I would still really mind that this Antonio fixes himself. on the head for Antonio but we have official Funko news for that and Pop in a Box is apparently changing the way they ship things shipping is now going to take longer if they're pop, 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 pop in a box and also if you don't get your delivery from Pop in a Box they will refund you if you don't get your delivery and if Basically, the boxes have major damage on it, like way too much damage, that basically, also the Funko Pop got damaged, they will send you a free replacement now, which, praise Pop in a Box for that. Anyway, now let's get on with some man news. Amazon is shipping Funko Pops damaged on purpose. So this is from the Top Pops Reddit. This guy bought a 
Funko Pop off of Amazon. It was an Amazon exclusive and you bought a Funko Pop. I don't want to specify which Funko Pop it was. But you bought a Funko Pop from Amazon and it came damaged. The whole box had a little dent in it. Now it's not that big of a deal. You can just send it to Amazon, get a new box, blah, blah. But here's what they did instead of actually giving him a new box. What they did is when they got the box back from the guy, which I'm not going to say his name, when they got the box back from the guy, they just slapped the Amazon renewed and you gave this product another day life. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. The, the dumb lies that Amazon gives out because we both know that Amazon do be giving out lies. And then they just slap that on the side of the package. Boom, shipped it again, and it was the exact same box. Amazon, why, why you do that? You can't do that. You can get one set of views. And now, let's talk about this next one, because this next one is serious and affects all Funko Pop. Funko Pop collectors like me, it's gonna affect all of us in the future. Future is fact that a Funko News website is down. Sad face to all of us. Funko News website is down. How are we going to get our newest Funko News? Oh, wait. Subscribe to Demon Pox. You get your newest Funko News. Basically, every year get, you get Funko News every Wednesday. So, uh, we do Funko News videos every Wednesday. As soon as you subscribe to Demon Pox if you guys want my Funko News. Because the Funko News website is down. Me, you can't get no Funko News today. And the only way you can get Funko news today is from me. The one and only. The guy that makes. The guy that makes Funko news videos every Thursday. I know I said Wednesday, but I messed it up. Because I'm recording this on Wednesday since I usually record my video a day earlier. That's just what we usually do. So I don't have to go through the whole process. Of recording them and editing them again when it's already recorded and edited and took me hours to edit that one day but we're here on thursday happy thursday to all of you tomorrow's friday which is an exciting day for all of us because friday is the day before my next bunko pop hunting video yeah we do funko news every thursday and currently the Funko website is down. How are we gonna get our newest Funko news? Me. Subscribe to me. Or else you won't get Funko news. Anyways, newest Funko news. This is really a lot of big Funko news. But. This is really big Funko news, but the Batman Funko Pops are officially the, one of the easiest Funko Pops to get. Seriously. Basically, here all it says I found the Batman Funko Pop at, I found the Batman Funko Pop at GameStop. I found it at Toys R Us. That's basically it. Here is the next piece of Funko news that is missing from the Funko news website since it's down. Officially, this is big news. Because the one and only, the one and only, the one and only, the person with the biggest Funko Pop collection in the whole world, which we did a whole video dedicated to, 
is now in a fight. It's not really a fight, but he's in a battle. He's facing the one and only, the previous record holder with 4,000 Funko Pops. And how is he facing him? Because the newest one has basically the old one now has 6,778 Funko Pops. Wow. Last one, the newest one, has 7,098 Funko Pops. So you're telling me that this guy, this random guy, this random old freaking bearded guy, now is about to take over the new guy that literally looks like a psychopath. And I'm scared of him. And he is in my nightmares right now. He's always going to be living in my nightmares ever since I watched that video. That video was so low quality. Like, why? Do you, like, you have a credit. Your probably dead wife was probably sitting like this. Oh, yeah, those are good Funko Pops. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, those are really good Funko Pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really good Funko Pops. While this guy was trying to get a Guinness World Record, by the way, it's like just Funko Pop collection. Even though he didn't sh even show off all of them. So what if he was lying? I mean, but he must have sent proof, right? What if, my theory is, he was faking it. And here's why. So, we see the Funko Pops in his room, right? He says he has 7,000, right? But this is how many characters Funko has actually made. So he has almost every single Funko character. Excuse me? How How is that possible? Like, this guy is lying about the time he collected Funko Pops, and he's lying about how many Funko Pops he has. But the book's already been published, so they can't just remove him from the book, but they can remove him from his YouTube channel. They can at least do something about him, because he is a liar. And I know that's not the long truth, but Next, Funko News, a me machine gun Kelly Funko Pop is getting hated on. How is it getting hated on? It's not even out yet. But obviously it's going to get hated on since everyone's scared of hating on Machine Gun Kelly. But his song, Emo Girl, I know I'm going to get hate for this, but his song, Emo Girl, is kind of fire. Anyways. People are already hating on Tanning Red. Like, bro, the movie isn't even out yet, and you're just hating on the design of the character, and the design of the character has been good. And seriously, I would watch a movie with a literally 2D animated character, and I have. Seriously, I have. I would seriously watch the worst movie in the world. And I have. I actually have. I regret watching that movie, you know. That movie gave me a lot of emotional damage. A lot of emotional damage. A lot of emotional damage. Emotional damage. Anyways, that's it for your Funko. And that's it for your weekly Funko News video. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you guys do comment, like, and subscribe. And goodbye. I'm Antonio. Goodbye.